today's mission, if you are brave enough. Answer the question, how do I read and write decimals to the thousand? But first, we must ask, what does a decimal do? Decimals allow us to see parts of a whole number. Let's use base 10 blocks to think about decimals. When representing decimals, our cube is going to equal one whole. The flap equals one tenth because there are 10 in each cube. The rod equals one hundredth because there are 100 in each cube, and the single unit equals 1,000 because there are 1,000 in each cube. How do you read this number? The decimal shows us that we have more than a whole. This portion of the number is not enough to make a whole number, but it is part of the whole. Let's start by looking to the right of our decimal. We find the digit 2. Here we represent it with two flats, or two tenths. Next, let's continue to move to the right. We find the digit 6. We can show that we have six rods, or six hundredths. Continuing with our move to the right, we see there is a 1 in our final place value. That allows us to see 1 unit, or 1 thousandths. Now that we have identified the place values, we must understand how to say them. Anything to the right of the decimal is read as if it was a standard number, followed by the place value of the last digit. In this case, 261 thousandths, making our entire number 34 and 261 thousandths. Now complete the mission by using the link to try on your own.